communion and we are going to receive the holy communion power of God is going to come into your life everybody get your communion in your house we have communion all the time sometimes in the flow prayer meetings we have communion all the time there's always a need to have holy communion amen there's always a need to have holy communion take eat this is my body which is broken for you drink this is my blood which was shed for you whoever eats my flesh and my blood has eternal life for my flesh is meat indeed and my blood is drink indeed oh, oh. the cup of blessing which we bless it's the communion of the blood of Christ the bread which we break it's the communion of the body of Christ Oh, this is the holy meal, the meal of God. Whoa. It will sustain you, it will make you whole, it will give you life. When I see the blood, oh, oh, oh yeah, I will pass over you. Oh, oh, oh. Zechariah chapter 9 and verse 9. It says, Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, thy king cometh unto thee. He is just and having salvation. Riding upon an ass and upon a colt, the foal of an ass. Amen. This scripture is telling us that the blood of Jesus, this is the Lamb of God. Amen? Riding upon an ass and upon a colt. Salvation, lowly, is prophesying about Jesus Christ. In verse 10 it says, I will cut off the chariot and his dominion shall be from sea to sea, from the river to the ends of the earth. And in verse 11 it says, By the blood of thy covenant, I have sent forth thy prisoners out of the pit where in there is no water. Amen. Amen. Turn you to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope. Even today do I declare that I will render double unto thee. The blood of the covenant. So right now, there is good news for you because the lamp amen he is coming he is arriving rejoice greatly o daughter of zion shout o daughter of jerusalem behold thy king cometh he's coming with the blood covenant father as we come before your throne we take this bread and we come before your holy presence we dedicate it in our houses everywhere thank you that the king is coming and we are rejoicing we are about to receive the king's own flesh and blood his body is going to enter our body and victory is going to enter us protection is going to enter us blessing is coming into our lives because the king is coming is coming toward us with great speed and great vengeance. Lift up the bread. May the king enter into your life and participate in your life in a new and a living way. Wherever you are, may the body of Jesus Christ be a blessing and a healing and a covering for you as the king himself coming into your life. The body of Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. 
Now take the wine or the blood. Amen. It says in verse 11, it says, By the blood covenant, I have sent forth thy prisoners. Whatever is holding you down, this blood is setting you free. Listen, any personal chain, bondage, or curse that is at work is broken today. You are coming out of prison by the blood of the Lamb, the blood of Jesus. Brothers, sisters, we are one And our lives have just begun In the Spirit we are young And will live forever Sons of God, hear His holy word Gather round the table of the Lord eat his body drink his blood and we'll sing a song of love hallelujah 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 sing it next shout together to the Lord who has promised our reward happiness a hundredfold and will live forever lift your hands and say it now sons of God hear his holy word gather around the table of the Lord eat his body drink his blood and we'll sing a song of love hallelujah 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 lift your hands for your blessing as we gather around this table of love may his blessing be upon you in your houses may angels appear and reappear and appear again and again in your circumstances in your life may the blessing of the father rest upon you and all that is yours and all that is connected to you may the curse that is moving around in the world may the pandemic and the evil that is moving by day and by night not be able to penetrate the defenses that the lord establishes around your dwelling place today live long and prosper and flourish cross 70 with ease thank god for victory celebrations of your life that come year after year for they shall come to pass for the lord shall cause you to live and to serve him for there is no beauty and there is no glory in the grave but the lord shall bless you to live to survive and to extend your days and prolong your life upon the earth that you might serve him with joy and with gladness that you might put all that you have into him and into loving him all the days of your life whatever represents a curse working in your life by the blood of the covenant by the blood of the covenant i declare and decree divine escapes from every curse that is working in your life in the name of jesus christ of nazareth whatever represents a dark shadow of gloom and of doom and of a curse and of an unending crisis ah may his blood rescue you as the blood rescued the israelites from egypt from 430 years of captivity may you escape every curse and every evil that hangs over your head because of your sins and the sins of your fathers and the sins of the ancient ones that you are connected to through the blood 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the murders of Cain and the murders that have taken place in the bloodline of your life, Mara two three Hamaza Mananda, and the deceptions and the treachery and the trespasses be forgiven because of the blood. May you escape divinely from your family curse and from your family evil in the name of Jesus Christ. I bless you as Jesus Christ came into the world to bless. May you experience the blessing of the Lord upon your life. Your next step, I prophesy, your next step will be a good step and it will be a step forward and a step upward. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Your next step will be a good step. Receive it. Your next step will be a good step. Amen. Receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated.